I'm Elliot Antman. I'm a cardiologist at the Brigham Women's Hospital, professor of medicine at Harvard Medical School, and I'm uh, one of the associate deans for clinical translational research at Harvard Medical School. I'm Dr. Mark Sabatine. I'm also a cardiologist at the Brigham Women's Hospital and Harvard Medical School and the chairman of the Timmy Study Group. So the, the book that we are working on now is called Cardiovascular Therapeutics. It's a companion to Brownwald's heart disease. The concept of companion textbooks was really something that grew out of a vision that Dr. Brownwald had. Uh, the textbook, Heart Disease, which we all view as you know, the Bible that we turn to for uh, looking up information, uh, for managing patients with cardiovascular disease, planning our research projects, that's now uh, in its ninth edition uh, that's just been published relatively recently. The companions uh, enable readers to actually look at a particular topic in greater depth. So the textbook, Cardiovascular Therapeutics, was actually originally proposed by the now late uh, Dr. Thomas Smith, who was the chief of uh, our cardiovascular division at the Brigham and Women's Hospital. I had the opportunity to work with him on the very first edition of Cardiovascular Therapeutics, and I was uh, honored when Dr. Brownwald asked me to become the editor for the second uh, and third editions. Now the, the textbook, Cardiovascular Therapeutics, covers all the major topical areas in cardiology, some general uh, uh, important uh, topics about how you would think about managing a patient with cardiovascular disease, it covers heart failure, hypertension, arrhythmias, lipid management, general cardiology issues such as managing the patient uh, who's pregnant or who has endocarditis or pericarditis. So uh, it, it's been an extremely uh, valuable addition to the armamentarium that uh, readers now have when they look at the uh, heart disease and its full complement of companion textbooks. When conceiving about what to do for the fourth edition, which is the textbook that we're in uh, production phase on now, uh, it was very clear that there were so many new advances, particularly in genetics, pharmacogenomics, proteomics, and I was delighted that my colleague, Dr. Mark Sabatine, is really an expert in that area and is a natural choice to be co-editor on this fourth edition. Uh, and Mark, maybe you could tell us a little bit about what you uh, particularly wanted to bring to the textbook. Yeah, no, I think, uh, well, I, I've had the pleasure of working with Elliot now for maybe about 20 years. Uh, even when I was a medical student, we met and interacted, uh, I think, on, a, on chapters of a textbook back then. And, and you know, I've always admired in Elliot is his ability to very clearly explain things uh, to individuals and I think you know, part of our role in an academic center is not only to do the investigative work for the discoveries but also then to make sure that message then gets out to the practitioners and that's uh, a separate set of skills in terms of how to be an effective communicator whether it's verbally or through a, a textbook. Uh, and so I've always admired Elliot for that, so it was a real pleasure when he invited me to, to join him for the, the fourth edition. And Elliot's absolutely right. I think you know, that there's a huge explosion of information in terms of what to add to the book, and we thought very carefully about that. Part of it is, is structural in terms of really making sure we did full justice to the vascular part of cardiovascular uh, and adding in sections on peripheral arterial disease, on cerebrovascular disease, on aortic disease, also the venous side and venous thromboembolism, uh, and there's an increasing uh, recognition of uh, disease states in those various arenas, and now we have dedicated chapters for that. And then even within the existing chapters, then a total revamping of them to take into account all the advances. So the pharmacotherapy continues to evolve very, very rapidly. As part of that then, as Elliot noted, the pharmacogenetics and really trying to get the message out of how we can personalize therapy for individuals, uh, be it based on clinical factors, uh, biomarkers, or genetic variants. Uh, and then cutting edge therapies, uh, uh, stem cell therapy, for example, where there's been a lot of discussion and a lot of new trials coming out. And then the other end for device therapy, uh, that as the devices get more sophisticated, not only different stents that we need to think about what would be the right stent for the right patient, but well beyond that now for thinking about uh, able to do transcatheter aortic valve implantation, thinking about ventricular assist devices, thinking about new devices for treating arrhythmias, and all that we put into this new edition.